here we have Food Fortunes. I got this at a Japanese bookstore, but <laughs> it's just so cute. It's kind of like when... So this is supposed to help you choose what food to eat. So this is the back, and this is the front, but it has like all these... Ooh, these are white. It has all these different food items. So just in case you're not sure what you want to eat this day, you consult Food Fortunes and then it'll tell you exactly what to eat. Condiments, yes. Pretty ingenious deck. Love it. Haven't had to use those yet, but I have it just in case. I have here Tarot of the Magical Forest. This is, I just, I don't know, this brand right here, or the company Los Garibo, Scar, Scar, Scarabeo, <laughs> sorry, um, the Scarab, they just, like, the decks that they produce have, like, the most amazing art, and I love it. So here we have the back of the Magical Forest, and this is the front. Also, this is a deck that I can't cut, otherwise I would have loved to I still can technically um because it's pretty self-explanatory or I could like write the names like right here in the blank or something but everything is on the border pretty aggravating but look at how cute it's so amazing so adorable like ooh, oh my god I almost died the artwork is like so beautiful, it's so whimsical. I just love it. All right, I have another small deck. This is Tarot to Go. This one, I also bought this a really long time ago, but look, it has like a hardback book in here. It's so cool. And it has a tiny, Hanson Roberts deck. So this is the ooh, this is the full size. This is the tiny, looking pretty cool. The artwork is exactly the same. It's just I just like small tarot cards. They're just so much more fitting for my hand size. So this is the difference between the two. This one, ooh, this one has the border cut off, and this one does not. But it's exactly the same. Here we have a Nicoletta Ciccoli, I don't know, this like tiny tarot, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I saw the artwork and I was like, <gasps> I have to have it. And this is the front, look at how beautiful. I just also really like mini decks because they just fit in my hand better, they're just easier to manage, easier to shuffle. But um, this is also one of those that I can never cut because the border is like not defined, it's like in the card design, um, but again, like the artwork is really beautiful, but it's not some, something that I feel is usable, unless I were to um, remember all the cards. Here we have a big one. This is the Vampire Tarot. I also bought this when I was in high school. Um, at Barnes and Noble because that's literally oh my god that is literally all I had back then but I never used it I tried giving it away sorry guys and like <laughs> it, it didn't happen so of course I kept it but this comes with like a giant book this light is crazy I'm just gonna go like this but again, the, the shape was a little strange to me. The size, the size itself like was, is super wide. And this is after I cut the edges as well. Like I can barely hold on to the entire deck in with one hand. And this is the back. And this is the front. And like this deck, I'm not really a fan of because like the way it was printed, it doesn't slide well. And and the cards kind of get like stuck together. But I like the artwork. Again, it's not something that I would use. But I bought it 
and they're mine and I shall keep them forever. But you see, I can't even get them together because the cards are all sticking to each other. This is the Cat's Eye Tarot. This deck, I had started to cut it and then I stopped. So it's like half, it's not even half done, it's like a quarter done. But it's just kitties. Oh my god, the cards are bent because they've been like sitting like this for too long. But as you can see, these are the cards that have been cut. These are the cards that have not been cut. Can you see just like the difference between the two? It's, it's crazy. So this is going to be a project that I'm going to finish probably today. Because I shouldn't leave these like half done because that's crazy. I have this Alice in Wonderland tin. It's so adorable. Look at it. It comes in a box. This one I've actually never opened. It's still very much in the plastic. No oh, shit. So, I'm not gonna open them. So sorry. But I'm gonna keep them in the plastic. I took the plastic off the tin though, so. There you have it. There is the Fool, which is the Mad Hatter. Alright, so another big box that I have is the Zombie Tarot. This one I wasn't going to buy because I didn't like the vampire one so much, but it was only $16, I believe. Like, it was, yeah, $16.95. Super, super cheap. Way cheaper than, like, just a regular deck like this. Um, is because these are usually like 20 something dollars. So for $16 you get this entire box. It was crazy. This is the booklet. I love when that you get like actual books rather than like those tiny little like leaflet pamphlet things like bleh, come on. The artwork is awesome. Like I love it. Like I'm just a big sucker for art and that's how I buy my decks, to be honest with you guys. But this is the back. And the one thing that I don't like about this is that the card is one-sided. It has a right side and a wrong side. So in the event that the card is upside down, you, you will know right away. So this can never be played upside down and right set up. This here is the deck how beautiful this is. Like, this is insane. I really like how it's very sciency and very old school as well. Like, vintage. So amazing. Love it! This is the very first tarot deck that I have ever gotten, ever. It was gifted to me by an ex-girlfriend in high school. She had the same one. I was like, whoa, cool. And she's just like, oh, you like that? And I'm like, hell yeah. And like a couple days later, she gave it to me as a gift. Like she bought another uh, deck for me because she's just like, tarot cards can only be gifted. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And it's honestly the only deck that I ever use. Like I have all these decks and they are purely for collecting and like shits and giggles if I want to use them. But this is the one that I always use, which is why it is in this cloth. But the box is right here. This is the Medieval Scapini Tarot. This is the back. And this is the front. Here is the artwork. This is all mixed up because I use it. But I was at the store and I saw that they had like a newer version of this where like the gold is actually like a gold like metallic gold leaf print and I want it so bad <laughs> but I already have this one so I might go for it but I'll probably never use it but this is what I use this is my deck this is the artwork oh god it's falling 
All right, everyone, so that is my entire collection of tarot cards. I wish I had more, also feel like I have too many. I know I'm going to keep purchasing and collecting, but this is what I have for right now. Um, that's pretty much it, really. This light is getting crazy. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. I am gonna go now before like I become blind from this sun. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.